This video is the third in a series about solubility equilibrium. Uh, earlier videos have gone through how to write KS expressions and how to use them to convert between KS values and solubility values. This one is going to be um, covering how to calculate the solubility of a salt if it has been dissolved in a solution that already has one of its ions present. And um, where we'll begin for this is to just think about things from an equilibrium expression. We have an equilibrium reaction for something dissolving, and this can also be paired up with the equilibrium expression. And when this reaction reaches equilibrium, silver ion concentration multiplied by chloride ion concentration will give us the Ks value, which is this number here. The thing is, is that if we were dissol to dissolve the solution, perhaps dissolve the solid rather, in a solution that already had a high chloride ion concentration, this would mean that uh, not much of the salt would actually be able to dissolve before the two ion concentrations multiply to give you this number right here. So having the common ion present is going to make the solubility much, much lower than what it would be if we were dissolving in pure water. Um, here's a question in a similar vein to the example above. Um, if we dissolve silver chloride in a 0.1 mole per litre sodium chloride solution, if we look at the two formulas of these two, we find that chloride ions are in common for both of them. Okay, so we would say that the common ion for this question is chloride ions. Now, um, and also if we keep in mind that the sodium chloride concentration is 0.1 mole per litre, that means we already have 0.1 mol per litre of chloride ions before any of the salt will actually dissolve inside the solution. Um, here is the solubility reaction and the uh, Ks expression. And what we can do here is that we can start looking at what the concentration of the ions will be. For starters, the chloride ion concentration is already 0.1 mol per litre, and we'll say on top of that, S moles per litre of the salt will dissolve, and that will give us these concentrations of the ions. We can substitute these into the square brackets in the Ks expression. Bear in mind that for chloride ions, there was already 0.1 moles per litre present, so this must be added on to whatever also dissolves from the salt. We end up getting this equation here, which is a quadratic equation. Uh, it can be solved, however, we can actually make life much easier for us because um, S is going to be a very low number. So we can assume that 0.1 plus S is still going to be equal to 0.1. With this in mind, we can rewrite the expression and it becomes much, much simpler. If we rearrange and make S the subject, we end up with this. The KS value was supplied to us. So all we need to do is do this number divided by 0.1. And um, the answer we get is going to be the solubility of this salt in 0.1 mole per litre sodium chloride solution. And we will get a low number, and this proves that our assumption does hold true. Uh, 0.1 plus S is still more or less equal to 0 0.1. Uh, this is a slightly more complicated example because it's a 1 to 2 iron ratio salt but um, we have a hydroxide solution and we're dissolving a hydroxide salt so hydroxide ions are a common iron and this is the equation for the salt dissolving and this is the Ks expression that follows the, so the hydroxide ion concentration is already 0.1 mole per litre from the sodium hydroxide and on top of this we will be able to dissolve S moles of our salt into one liter of this solution. As a consequence of that, uh, the iron concentrations are going to be affected like this. We can put these two things into the square brackets of the Ks expression. And um, just like before, we end up getting a um, somewhat complicated looking equation. However, we can make a quick assumption that makes it much, much easier. Um, S is once again a low number. So that 0.1 plus 2s can, is still more or less equal to 0.1. So 
if we rewrite the expression with this assumption included, we get a much, much um, simpler equation. Bear in mind that we still have the power involved, so we must keep that. We rearrange to make s the subject. Uh, the ks value was supplied, so we just need to take that number and divide it by 0.1 squared. And we should find that the answer we get is going to be the solubility of the salt uh, inside 0.1 moles per liter sodium hydroxide. And just like last time, the answer we end up getting is a very, very low number. The salt will barely dissolve. And this means our assumption is true.